right, let's get started. First exercise I want to work on is called two finger combos. I call these two finger combos. So what we're going to do is apply these principles that we've talked about up to this point. We're going to have the fingers curved, thumb flat on the back of the neck, right hand muting, move the mechanism, fingers perpendicular to the fret, fingers next to the fret. I'm going to be a stickler on this stuff here. So let me just play this exercise for you and then we'll come back and break it down, okay? So here's a slow version of it. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the first version. Now the second version, or the skip a string version, as I'll probably refer to it here, goes like this. The same principle, but we skip a string. Okay, so it'd be uh, one, two, three, four. So skip a string, go back one, skip a string, repeat, skip a string. Up one, skip a string. Okay, that's the basic exercise. Then we're going to reverse it, and then we're going to apply it to fingers two and three, and then we're going to fly it, apply it to fingers three and four. But that's the basic drill, okay? Now, here's what I didn't do. I didn't play this. I didn't move this finger when I wasn't using it. Notice that I, I kind of am essentially anchoring my index finger, playing that note, and then playing the second finger. Now, there's no need me, for me to pick this up until I have to move it to the next string. Okay? So I don't want, I, already I want to eliminate as much wasted motion in these exercises as possible. So, right? I'm pretty sure that you've got it by now. All right, so now the next way that we're going to play this is starting with the second finger. So we'll start with two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We'll repeat it. Okay, now we'll play the same thing, but with skipping a string. Hear how nice and even those are? And notice there's not a big break when I skip strings. Here's here's a sound that you want to you want to avoid. You see what I mean? There's that break, almost like a breath between notes, and you want to avoid that by hanging on to the note a little longer. You need to be aware of this when you're playing it. onto it with the index finger. See what I'm talking about? That's the idea. Okay, so let's start with the second finger and uh, actually let's let's do that much from the top in time with the click. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So smooth and legato. Repeat. Second finger. All right, you got.
Got the idea? So what we want to do is play them up once, back down, skip a string, back down, and then start with the next finger and reverse that, okay? Um, the next thing to do is start with the second finger and do the same process. So it's second finger, third finger, Okay, so let's try that. Let me play that for you. Or you can probably figure it out and play along with me. Here you go. One, two, three, four. Nice and legato. What's your right hand doing? Are you muting with your thumb? Are you playing next to the fret? Skip a string. Here we go. Skip a string. Back one. Skip a string. Repeat. Skip a string. Up one. Okay, now let's reverse that. Okay? Here we go. We'll start with our third finger. One, two, three, four. Now skip a string. Skip a string. Okay, now, notice something. When I'm playing these, watch my index finger. Watch this. Notice that it's staying home. I've learned to make that thing relax, okay? That's critical. You don't want to be doing this. I see guys doing that, and what you've done is you've taken your finger way, you wind up taking your fingers away from the fingerboard. So as much as you can get those fingers to relax and stay close to the fingerboard, the better off you are. Does that make sense? It's pretty obvious, okay? So it might take a few minutes to get that, or a few days to get that to happen, but remember that's the look that you want to do. Probably a good idea when you do some of these things, if you can do them in front of a mirror to check yourself from time to time, it's critical. That'll, that'll help a lot. Okay, now uh, let's, let's start with the third and fourth finger and do the same thing. So when I'm playing, you notice these aren't flying all over the place? Okay, let's try that in time. Let's see if you can do it with me. I know you can. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Repeat. Skip a string. This is a lot harder, isn't it? you're playing on the heels of your fingertips. Start with your fourth finger. Nice and legato. Perpendicular to the fret. Skip a string. No big breaks. Repeat. What's your right hand doing? Are you muting? 
Okay, so now you've done the basic drills with one and two, two and one, two and three, three and two, three and four, four and three. Now you can go back and do these same ex exercises again, but do them staccato and control the length of the note with the right hand. You get a lot more mileage out of this one simple exercise. Check it out. It'd be like one, two, three, four. You get the idea? You could go back through and do all of these exercises doing them staccato. Control that from the right hand. So uh, that's going to wrap up the two finger combo. This is a critical one. Make sure you don't take any shortcuts. Keep those fingers under control. Play next to the fret. Perpendicular to the fret, right hand muting. Cool. Okay, so for you energetic types, here's an extra credit assignment. Rather than doing just one and two, or two and three, or three and four, you can also do this exercise as first finger and third finger. So it would be this. could do that reverse it okay then you could do it two and four uh, four and two okay you get the idea now you could also do one and four See what my fingers are doing? I'm not doing this stuff here. Watch, well, check that out. Make sure you want to teach them to stay home because they can't do you any good out here away from the strings. You don't play out here, you play next to the strings. Okay, so you could reverse that. So, use up those practical combinations of the two finger combos. There's your extra credit assignment.